Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Lekman out there doing his work of faith and labor of love of truth and sincerity. Uh, and today's topic I want to get into real briefly is yet a little while, and the wicked shall be no more. All right, and I got that quote from uh, Psalms 37 and 10, and it reads, For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. Right? And you know, when it says, For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be, that little while that we're waiting upon is for the Lord to give these devils the okay to start Jacob's trouble, man. That's the little while that we're waiting for and that we're looking forward through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai to get past. And then there will be no more Esau. And then we will enter our heavenly rest that we've been working so diligently for and trying to show Yahweh Bashem Yahushai that we are truly for him and that we truly love the Most High. Yahweh Yahushai. Okay? So yet a little while longer, you know, the, and these devils that are constantly bringing upon things but we see that the time is very, very near, man. And, you know, brother's faith is being tested on a daily, you know, constantly going through things. Esau putting brothers through different types of aggravations, you know, uh, dealing with the computer situations. Esau giving brothers uh, viruses and, you know, hacking brothers' computers to where they can't get work done. But regardless of what you devils do, man, this word is going to get pushed out there, man. And every step that you take to try to hinder brothers progression or you try to hinder the word of Yahweh Bashmi Shai, brothers are gonna take two steps forward and push even harder, man. Cause this is the year of that push, man. Okay? You got Esau, you know, uh calling brothers phones, you know, agents calling brothers phones, you know, telling brothers that, you know, trying to get cozy with brothers and trying to tell brothers that it'd be worth your while. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get brothers to sell out, take that Judas purse, man. But brothers know you devil's trickery, and we see you devil's coming for us, man. So the elect will not be swayed by the trickery of you devils, man, okay? No matter what you devil try to come at brothers with, brothers, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, brothers are going to endure, Lord willing, man, you know? Brothers have strong faith in Yahweh Yahushua, not to, to be swayed or to, to not be easily stirred up. Why you devils trying to come up with an offer for brothers, man? You know? And you devils, you know, placing different agents in the camp. You know, dudes that appear to be brothers, but are really are wolves in sheep's clothing, man. You know? Trying to pretend as their brothers, but really are agents amongst us, man. We see you devils moves, and we see you agents amongst the camps, man. You know? You devils are so proud that you think that the Lord having given brothers spiritual discernment to be able to weed out the real from the fake, man. To be able to weed out agents amongst the camps from the real true men of the Lord, the real brothers in the body of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. What you devils are in for in the rule of wickedness, man, you know? And, uh, going on, it reads, But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon them with his teeth. The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his day is coming. Right? So the Lord is laughing at you, devils, man. Okay? The Lord is laughing at you, devils, because you really have it in your in your mind that you will be yet that your houses shall continue forever. And that's not gonna be, man. Satan is deceiving you, man. You're being deceived by your own vain opinions, man. By your own ways, by your own witchcraft, man. Satan is deceiving you, devils, man. Okay? The Lord got you in a trick bag, man. You know? So it says, uh, verse 14, The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. And the sword is being drawn out, man, you know, with all these different things of these talks of martial law. Uh, you got these different uh, countries now claiming uh, uh, that they're, they're in an economic collapse, you know. 
and I was watching, you know, uh, I believe it's X-22 report, and it's basically saying with all this happening that the elites are just waiting for somebody just to get fed up and, and, and enjoy the war first and, and, the, and the set off, you know, uh, uh, the, fir the first act of war so they can get busy, man, you know? For the most I have set it in their hearts to fulfill his will, but we just wait impatiently for the most side to, to, to let these prophecies get the rolling so we can get the fuck up out of here, man. You got brothers is desperately and anxiously, patiently waiting on the kingdom, man, you know? And, you know, and how these devils are trying to cast brothers down and, and enslave those that be of an upright conversation. You know, these devils are messing with brothers' channels. You know, uh, brothers are trying to load up these clips of edification. You know, Esau taking the videos down. You know, uh, copyright striking brothers, you know what I'm saying? So that this edification don't come out, man. But you devils are not going to stop the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai no matter what you do, man. No matter what. Okay? So keep doing what you're doing, and brothers are going to keep pushing harder and harder and harder and harder. And that means your kingdom is going to fall even faster, man. Okay? You know? So, um, reading on it says that sword shall enter into their own heart and their bowls shall be broken a little that verse 16 a little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked so you devil trying to offer up brothers riches but it says what a little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked so the little that the true men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai have is worth way more than what you devils can ever offer us man because that looter that we have is that faith, man. Faith as a grain of a mustard seed. Okay? And Yahweh Shah said, if you have that, you can move mountains, man. So what brothers have in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is greater than whatever you devils could try to offer us, man. You're not taking no plea bargains, no deals with you devils, man. You devils want war, we're going to bring it to you every single day out there on them highways and byways and pushing these videos of edification through the unicorn, man. Every single day, man. You know? I just want to see you devils fall, man, so that we can be on top and put you damn devils in chains, man, you know? Uh, just uh, one more quick scripture, you know, uh, that I want to bring out. Um, this is uh, Second uh, Peter's, uh, like this. It's, uh, Second Peter's chapter, chapter 3, verse 13. Nevertheless, we according to his promise okay nevertheless we according to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai's promise look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness man you know at, at times you know brothers just be so fed up you just gotta sit there and just you just think upon the kingdom you just meditate upon the kingdom man you know looking forward to your kids actually being righteous you know what I'm saying? Looking forward to you being uplifted, having the respect that you deserve in the, in the, in the society, man. All of the Akim around you, you know what I'm saying? Not, not in need of anything, man. All brothers are dwelling in righteousness and all brothers are good in health. You know what I'm saying? Brothers are not, you know, uh, uh, walking around like old men and being young, you know? Brothers are not going through monetary trouble. You know, brothers are not going through uh, uh, troubles with their women, man, you know? We're looking forward to that new heaven, new earth, clean air to be able to breathe, man. You know, no GMO foods, man. Grapes being big as the size of basketballs, how they used to be in the ancient times, man. You know, food that actually re re revives you and vitalizes you, gives you energy, supports your life, sustains your life, man. That's what we look forward to, man. You know, the, the riches of the kingdom, to be able to worship our Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Without any worries, man. Without any hindrances, man. You know? That's what we look forward to, man. Every single day. We got to constantly think upon these things, man. You know? I know that's what keeps me going in the spirit, man. You know? Just thinking upon that, man. Looking forward to that, to that new, the new heavens and the new earth, Lord willing, you know? And this reads uh, verse 14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent, okay? Yeah, the push. All right. Be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. 
you know, and we got to pray to the Most High, you know, that we're that we're found without spot and that we're blameless in, in the most in the Most High's eyes, you know, because the scriptures say, you know, uh, roughly paraphrasing, you know, man is right in his own eyes, you know, but the Lord cometh the uh, and try, you know, the, the hearts and the, and, the, and the reins, man, you know, so we never want to have the mindset that we're completely righteous. We know that we're the righteous men of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, but we don't want to have that proud mindset like, like I know I'm going to make it. You know what I'm saying? We want to hope and pray that the Most High had mercy on us, man. You know? So it says, uh, verse 15, and account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, have written unto you. So it says, what account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, man. So the, the suffering that we're going through, man, it's all accounting for our salvation. Lord willing, we're a part of that elect, man. You know, it's just like racking up uh, 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 points with the, with the Lord, man. You know, like how you playing the, the video game Mario or something. You getting them coins, you know what I'm saying? And you, you're just racking up points with the Mosa. For the most high to have more mercy on you, for the most high to pour more spiritual blessings upon you, you know what I'm saying? For the most high to, to wipe the slate clean, to wipe your sins away, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what we're doing, man. That's what we're looking forward to. All this long suffering that we're catching is accounting to our salvation. Lord willing, we're a part of that elect, man, you know? So, I just like to say, you know, to all you Edomites, you, you elites out there, man, big fuck you, man, you know? A big fuck you, man. Seriously, man, I, I want you devils to go down, man. I can't wait for you devils' demise, man. Now, how do I know that the white people know that we are going to come up with a solution to the problem? I know it because they have retina scans. They have what they call racial profiling, DNA banks, and they're monitoring our people to try to prevent the one person from coming up with the one idea. And the one idea is how we are going to exterminate white people because that in my estimation is the only conclusion i have come to we have to exterminate white people off of the face of the planet to solve this problem now i don't care whether you clap or not but i'm saying to you that we need to solve this problem because they are going to kill us and i will leave on that so we have to just set up our own system and stop playing and get very serious and not be diverted from coming up with a solution to the problem. And the problem on the planet is white people. Now I know brothers out there throughout the Four Corners is, is constantly praying every single day, waiting on the same thing, man. You devils, your, your time is coming near and we're gonna be the rightful rulers of the face of the earth how we're supposed to be, man, you know? So, um, you know, with that, man, you know, I just wanted to get that, you know, get that out. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I got the uh, starting up a new channel. Well, it's an old channel, but, you know, just putting on, you know, some of my uh, old content up there. And Lord willing, I'll be going back and forth, you know, between, you know, this first channel and DTA Diligence, you know, uh, three, that channel. You know, because these devils, you know what I'm saying, they keep blocking my videos and, you know, giving me copyright strikes and stuff like that. So, you know, I you know I can't load up over 15 minutes. So, you know, Lord willing, I go back and forth between channels, man. And, you know, just try to push harder because this is the year to push, man. And, you know, all like young, you know, do the same in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, we'll be up out of here soon. So I'd like to give all praises out and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Bellstone. Shalom to Lek out there, doing his work of faith and labor of love and true sincerity. Death to America, year to push.